if you just hodl all the time, where when are you gonna realize your gains? When are you gonna actually make the money? What's going on guys? Just wanted to thank you guys for the awesome response. My first video got about 1300 views and over 100 subs in just over a week. So I appreciate that a lot. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing Bitcoin and my opinions on Bitcoin and the recent price action and, and whatnot. Why is Bitcoin going down? A lot of people thought that the implementation of futures would send the price even higher. But if you his look historically on other things like uranium, uranium is a great example of what happens to, um, to commodity when it is added to the futures markets. Generally what they do is they wait for the price to peak, then they implement the futures contracts, and then they can almost guarantee their profits on the way down. They can lock in those profits because they, they, you know, there's almost no question of what direction it's going to go. The reason that I knew that Bitcoin was going to go down to 8,500 again was because basically at the 8,500 dollar price point is when the news cycle started hitting, and everything above 8,500 was total just FOMO. Um, all you know, everybody, everybody and their grandma bought Bitcoin after 8,500 dollars, you know, because they all saw it on the news. And when something hits the news that hard, you have to know that it's, it's probably at its peak moment because when something hits the news, the general population sees it. And once the general population gets involved in something, who else is there to buy it? I mean, that's it. Once everyone's in, the market can't keep going up because everyone's in. I'm just gonna make this prediction now. And I do think that Bitcoin is going to go to about $2,500 by summer. And why do I think that? Well, you have to realize Bitcoin is not a stock. It doesn't represent the value of anything other than itself. And it's just a currency, right? It's just a, it's just a way to store value and a way to you know, exchange value. So a lot, of, a lot of people tell me, Kevin, there's a, there's a fundamental reason why Bitcoin isn't gonna go below, I don't know, what, 8,500. And I say that's wrong. Why does Bitcoin have to stay up this high? What, what's the reason? There, it's not, Bitcoin's value is not representing anything other than its value. It's not based on anything other than itself. So why does it have to stay this high? The answer is it doesn't. Um, Bitcoin can go to any price, technically. You know, and, and one question I ask people a lot, just, just, to, just a hypothetical question to, to make them realize the value of Bitcoin. I say, if Bitcoin wasn't making you money, would you still use it? Would you still buy it? If, it? if it was sort of just a very stagnant currency, would you still own it? And a lot of people, when I ask them that, they go, huh. You know, they think about it and they're like, wait, maybe I wouldn't. So if you wouldn't own Bitcoin when it wasn't making you money, then why would you, you know, where's the value in it? People, I mean, it, it is a speculator's market. No, I'm not saying that, that blockchain technology isn't revolutionary. I'm not, I'm not trying to take away credit from Bitcoin because Bitcoin changed everything. Like, I, I love Bitcoin. I love cryptocurrency. But it, why, why does it have to, why, where's, the, where's the real value in Bitcoin? I ask people that question, would you still own Bitcoin if it wasn't making you money? Some people say yes, some say no. You know, you can imagine what people say. But, you know, if I, if I asked the people of Zimbabwe or Venezuela, would you still use Bitcoin? And they would say, well, yeah, because we don't have anything else to use. See, the, the people of those countries actually have a reason to use it because their currencies have failed and they need something to use. But for you guys, what, why would you own Bitcoin if it wasn't making you money? Some of you would say, well, I don't like banks. And that's a good reason. I agree. All right, that's fine. Some of you would say... Well, it's, it's cheaper to, to transact than, you know, going through a bank. Sure, that's great. And I, I agree with that. But a lot of people, when I ask them that question, they go, huh. And, the, and the, you know, they, they, they get stunned almost by the question of would you own Bitcoin if it wasn't making you money? So you, that, that's really, that's a hypothetical question. And it's not, it, it's not really a relevant question that I know. But um, it's something to think about. So I'm not here to bash on crypto. I'm not here to bash on Bitcoin. I'm simply asking the real questions, the hard hitting questions, um, because that's what you have to do. You can't, you can't just, you can't just think, you can't just be a maximalist all the time. It, that's not how you make money. Um, if you, if you just hodl all the time, 
where, when are you gonna realize your gains? When are you gonna actually make the money? And the answer is you're not. Unless you're an early adopter of Bitcoin, the Bitcoin that you have is probably gonna lose all of its value from where you got in. And that's the truth. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that Bitcoin will never see these prices again. I do think it will. But I think we're entering a sustained bear market where Bitcoin's probably gonna head down to like $2,500 and it's gonna ride that line and people are gonna sort of start to forget about Bitcoin. And then once people forget about it, that's when it's gonna start making its move back up because that's when the smart money is gonna start accumulating the, the supply and start pushing it back up. And then Bitcoin's gonna ride back up 5,000, 10,000, 15,000. People are gonna go, oh my God, boom. It's gonna go right up to like 30, 50,000 again. And then it's gonna do it again. It's gonna come back down 10, $15,000. It'll ride that again. And it's just gonna be a cycle over and over again. So I just got done putting this video together and I just wanted to film, film this last clip just to say that I know what I'm saying is kind of controversial and I know it's gonna set off a lot of triggers for a lot of people because when, when a lot of people in the crypto space hear what I'm saying, they get triggered and they kind of get into a state of denial and, and they, they wanna defend their positions and like I, I understand it's kind of, it's kind of, it kind of sucks to hear what I'm saying but I think what I'm saying is pretty damn realistic. There will be other blockchains that are gonna come out and these blockchains will solve all different kinds of problems. And there's a chance for you to become an early adopter on these new blockchains that will come out that haven't been released yet. Um, and if you do the right research and you understand what makes a good cryptocurrency and you understand how these problems can get solved, then you might become a millionaire. If you like this video, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. If you think I'm stupid, Comment below and let me know why I'm stupid, and I will see you guys soon.